Today we're using a hole punch, a tracing wheel, some digitals to help us finish our May Mayhem item for today. So I need to make two hidden journal cards with paper, flower, stenciling, and ticket. So let's get to it and let's check out what we're going to make with those tools. Hi everybody, it's Julie and we are back with another day of May Mayhem. Today's choice is two hidden journal cards with paper flower stenciling and a ticket. So I decided, so we're going to come to this uh, very soon, but I, d I wanted to show you. I decided I would make my hidden journaling cards out of some vintage envelopes that I had in my stash. So the first thing we need to do is we need to close them. Okay, so I'm just going to use some of my glue to go ahead and close them. And this would be a great project for some of those envelopes you might have that have already closed themselves. Maybe they got damp and the, um, the little closure closed itself. Because <laughs> it happens. So we're just going to go ahead, close these up. Oh, I only need two, huh, this time. Okay, we'll put those aside. Okay, so um, I have my envelopes, and they are ready. We're going to let that part of them dry. And then the next thing, I have my new, new stencil from, uh, I think it's from Chow Bella. And with the CB up there, I got this at Spectrum Art Creations. And we are going to use our tea dye distress ink. Uh, one of my things is stenciling. And so, and then I've got my stenciling brush here. And the, I think this is one of the brushes from uh, Dollar General which I don't see them there very often, but when I do, I try and pick them up. So I'm just gonna go around. I love this plaid. It has been a fun stencil to play with. You'll see um, sometime in the next week or so, you'll get to see the Rose Journal, possibly even today, depending on how long this video is. So there you just see some of the stenciling. Okay, so, and I'm going to use this as the back, I think, of my hidden journaling card. So you could still journal over this. So just putting it in random. Okay, so there's that. I do want to put a little on the front, okay? And I'm gonna, because I'm gonna be covering this side, I thought that um, using the wrong side of the envelope would be a good way of doing this. So this is just a different way of doing a hidden journal card, okay? So on Monday for the mini challenge, you saw me do it with backed a postcard that was backed with with something else and we did hidden journaling cards for the mini challenge in the challenge don't forget to watch that whole video so that you see the the bonus that you're able to use that for um, that's in the video from Monday if you are doing the May challenge you might want to check out that bonus Okay, so there we go. Um, and so that is our stenciling all taken care of. So our next item that we need to use is a ticket. And I thought it would be fun to bring back the make your ticket out of a digital. Remember, you are to use five pages of digitals from the Dear Julie Julie um, 
collection and I'm gonna take this one for the first one, okay? And this came um, off of a sheet that I'm turning into postage stamps, but I think this one will be really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. I'm gonna go ahead and perforate it, okay? And I might, well, I can still cut along those perforations. It gives you like what a real ticket would look like with the perforations, but because I'm not <laughs> where I can pull it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. And then use my fingernail to come in those, those spots to rough it up a little like a ticket would be, okay? Then we're gonna take our hole punch and but it has a guard on it, it's hard to do. Oh, let's try it in here. Yeah, that one don't wanna work. Grab a hole punch that will work. just going to go around the outside, giving it that little rounded corner. Oh, this is my heart punch. That's why I'm like going, that is cutting funny. <sighs> that is the teardrop punch. Okay, way up in the back, I have my old school punch. There we go. So just rounded around the edge to give it that look of a ticket. So if you don't have any tickets, you can make your own. There is my ticket. And of course, you know I have many, many tickets, but we can make our own. Okay, so from here, Let's see, I think we'll make a ticket out of this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and, you know what, let's cut this, okay? So we're gonna cut this. So you'll be able to turn any, any paper into a ticket. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that that goes really deep so that we can go ahead and just like you would perforate uh, or slice a ticket, we're gonna slice the ticket, okay? And again, get the perfect perforated lines. Come in with the good Hole punch. And there we go. We have two tickets, one ready for each of our, our items. Okay, so tracing wheel, and you might have like the old plastic one, but tracing wheel and hole punch and scissors. And we were able to take care of that. And so then, okay, so these are glued and they are stenciled. Let's go ahead and we are going to cut on this one. I'm going to cut the top, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna cut the top. Whoa, make sure this is lining up. Okay, so I cut the top off on this one and on this one, I think I'm gonna go with, 
I, I'm gonna I'm gonna glue that one together before. <laughs> we'll we're gonna fix that one up. Okay, so this one is going to get from the new lovely red roses digital kit, brand new. Just gave the VIPs just got it yesterday, and so we're gonna use this as our hidden journaling card. I think since we've been distressing we should probably go ahead and distress this because you know once you start you got it <laughs> distress all the way away or most of it or some of it at least make it look like I tried okay so again I'm using tea dye So that's taken care of. I think I also want to um, go ahead and round these, the corners down here because it makes it easier to get this back into um, the envelope. Okay, so we have our, our piece and this is our other piece. So we're going to go ahead and open this up, get it ready. And we're going to add our glue. This time I'm going to add it onto my the edge of this postcard. So this postcard was left over from the VIP yesterday. And I will show you um, at the end of this video what we made in the VIP, which is the virtual internet party. Everyone that finished their March journal finished it on time and posted it they were invited to the two hour internet party and also the party group and in the party group was the brand new lovely roses digital kit for them okay so here is that will give me my hidden journaling spot okay so there you can journal there um, we are also making this one <laughs> so that you can journal on the back of this. Okay, so we've, we're going to leave that so you can journal on the back. And now we're going to go ahead and put some fun things on the front here. I have... I have the napkin. That we've been that we've been using it's got the flower I think that might be good okay I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull this off because I don't need my napkin there and yeah I did stencil on this one and but I wasn't I wasn't sure what I was going to put on the front. So it's like I could just stencil a bunch of, bunch, close a bunch of these up, stencil them, have them ready, mass make like we've been doing. That would be really cool. Okay, so there we go. And put this, put this down. Okay, I like the size of this envelope. It's going to make a nice tag in the journal. So let's go ahead. We're going to trim around the outside. I'm stuck on something. Okay. Uh, just that right there gave this a really nice weight. Okay, so there's, there's that. Oh, we're a little off over here. I didn't notice. Oh, that's from that. There was some glue on the front of this. Okay. Okay, so that is our 
our little base, okay? And it's ready. And it's gonna hold this, okay? So we'll put that in there. And what I wanted to do was I wanna use a ticket, okay? So we made our own ticket. You can see you could just take a whole line of the digitals and or even a, like a branding strip or something and make a whole line of tickets and have them ready. The one really cool thing about the VIP um, stuff this time is I do have a bunch of stuff ready to make things. Okay, I do have this embossed hands card and I'm going to put that down so that it kind of covers over the outside of okay like that and then bring in a rose And add that. Use the gobbledygook here. That's what I call the glue that travels up. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to cover the line so that you kind of can't see that it's got hidden journaling space. Okay, so I want my rows to go over the outside and I want the little calling card to also go over. I've got leaky glue here coming out the edges. So I'm just going to ball that up because I don't, if I can get away from having the shiny. So that is my paper flower. So you've seen me use like a punched out paper flower. And so here is a paper flower. It's a fussy cut paper flower. And so now we have our hidden journaling space and just got to put it back in, in there like that. Okay. We've used our ticket, we stenciled, okay? And we have our paper flower, okay? So there's that. Um, and I love, I love the way that, that turned out. And of course, if you would rather, you could go ahead and turn it around this way. And have your journaling on this side so you do have you have choices or if you accidentally put it in there backwards it's still okay okay so there's hidden journaling card number one made with an envelope and our DIY tickets and a fussy cut paper flower okay so there's number one and you can make both the same um, and then uh, for number two I am going to use this is from the again from yesterday's um, VIP and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put glue on here. I can see the outline of where I want to be. Okay, again, I'm going to be using the the wrong side, the, the side of the envelope that has all the closure pieces, all the little panels that close. 
So I'm gonna put this down on that. Or put this down on that. Okay, so this time I have not yet um, opened my envelope, okay? I'm actually covering it with collage first, okay? And again, this paper was left over from yesterday. And we made a project and you will see some of those that are VIPs this month. They are guest design team members for Dear Julie Julie. So you'll see them with their projects from the Lovely Roses digital kit. So congratulations to those who finished and are now guest design team members. Okay, so I have this piece. Okay, so if we go across. down we're just gonna oh gobbly goop on my little piece there I really gotta get to the store I'm like panicking that I'm going to run out of glue. What I call, it's fabric tack, but I call it video glue because it dries fast and things don't run and I can use it for lots of applications and I don't have to switch out my glue. Now, when I'm just creating um, I don't always, I use a variety of glues with the Tombow Mono Liquid Glue being my favorite. It's just, it's a wet glue and it does not dry quickly. So I'm not able to move on to the next project like I can. Okay, so I've got that and that. Have the happiness card that was put on I think we'll save that but it was um, stamped on some sewing tissue it's like oh that's cool um, let's see we could put this We line that up, even though it's not actually the true line up. We need to cut it across. Whoa, I lost my spot again. Should have counted, huh? Yep, and I would have been in the wrong spot, so I'm glad I did not. Okay, so there's that, and okay, so we're just paper piecing. <laughs> down so layering collage kind of 
So I think these pages in this new Lovely Roses kit are going to be fun because you can use them for collage. There's a, um, several different types of paper on some of the pages. Like this one had music page. It had a flinch card. It had a receipt. It had uh, the calling card and... It had flowers. It was a uh, one of the pages of the side by side, one of the side by side pages. Okay, so we'll just put that down. And trim it. Okay, so there is the cover of my It feels really nice. Okay, so we have a ticket. We have some glue over here. We got it. Okay, and let's see. I go with this flower. It, a flower did stenciling on the back so we're we're good on all of our our things that we're supposed to supposed to do So if we cut along here, I mean, that's kind of, uh, I could cut across here. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Okay, so we're gonna cut across the embossed hands it's kind of a, I think that looks like a good, good place to cut across. We weren't dry enough. Yeah. Let it dry before you um, cut it with your cutter. Okay, I really wanted to do a long one, but I think that this will be be just fine. Okay. Okay. So now remember, um, index cards work really good, and then you get journaling space on both sides. Okay. And so I like to open this kind of pull it apart and that way it's going to it should be easier to put it on. I've got my index card in my envelope. Envelopes are great because you have the full area of the envelope to use because you have the folds. So um, that's something to take into consideration. Okay. So let's see, how far down can we put this in? Because the further in it goes, the more journaling space we have, right? Okay, so we'll go ahead and put this on. And you could do these any size. So, and you could use a privacy envelope, like a large privacy um, junk mail envelope. And this is because it wasn't dry. So it's not going to be as hidden <laughs> as I would like it to be, but that's okay. Okay, so now we have our ticket. And on the other one, we put the ticket on this top. I think we'll go with the side this time. Kind of like as a, like a little file tab. Ooh, lots of glue. 
Okay, and there's our little DIY ticket. We'll add it right on there. I did pull out, I had some tickets. These are the tickets that the Patreons got back in November or in October. And I was like, oh, I can use, I can use these. But um, then I was like, oh, but I should make, make some tickets. So we made our own tickets and then we'll just cover up this. Okay, um, should we, yeah, we should go ahead and go all the way across. Okay, we'll do it like this. Okay. Using the gobbledygook. Whoa. Okay. And I'm going to put this down. I want to keep the word hands. Okay. So there's that. Okay, so we have our stenciling, our ticket, and our paper flower. And, um, you know, I just, I think this needs a little something, and a little something just might be our messy string. So, there you go. So make sure you are watching the whole videos because I have given a couple of bonuses, a couple of tips, and um, also don't forget to come back and comment on this video. And um, answer, if I asked a question, answer the question or uh, tell me what you're working on something because uh, I'm using the comments as a place to give some fun gifts away. And we did have prizes at the the VIP yesterday also. So those that were there live got the chance for those. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like, I love the extra um, that that adds. I think that that's really cool. So this one, you go ahead and, oh, did we glue it? You pull it and we've got the index card on the inside. So one side lined, one side not lined. And we just put that right up there. Okay, so that's one hidden card, hidden journal card. And then this one, we have the postcard inside and the stenciling is on the back. So there we go. And this just pulls up underneath. We use that beautiful napkin that we've been using. And so there are, there are those. So let's go ahead. I'm going to show you the flip through of the sewing journal that I finished during April. And then we'll come back. We'll go ahead and pick tomorrow's numbers and we'll take a look at what we made. And here it is, our beautiful sewing journal with the fluffy tassel. So we'll start with the fluffy tassel that we made in, that was one of, that was my, was that my letter F? 
knotty tassel, letter K. So um, knotty tassel, and we have the little scissor charm and the threader and a bobbin for charms and some of the tape measure is in the um, in the tassel, okay? And it is attached with a bulb pin on an eyelet up there. It is two signatures, five hole pamphlet stitch and this beautiful fabric that had the buttons. And that was um, Happy Mail that was sent to me, the button fabric. I used pattern, a child's pattern um, on the front and on the back of the cover and just glued that on there. I love the way it feels. Then for the cover patch, I used one of the Simplicity note papers. This was from a bag from a, I think it was from a shade store actually, and some more of the pattern. And then here we have a piece and here of the um, the beautiful flower sack fabric that Big Mama sent me. I also added a safety pin with a couple buttons there on the front and then this little thimble here. And then this is my closure and I'm gonna show you how I made that right here. So that turned out really cool. I also made that same type of closure for the Rose Journal and I love it. So on the closure of this one, I added a bulb pin with a, an actual thimble and I just cut a hole out of the thimble with my crocodile. And there you go, we have a hitch post fastener and I love it. I did um, end up that this book was a little short and I didn't want to cut down all the pages that were a little bit longer. So I added this piece of lace and then I took the edge. Remember these are, have a, they're the wedding ring um, quilt and they have a curve to them. So I cut it straight and then I had the curve on the edge and you'll see I've I've done the curve on the edge in a couple of the other places with that beautiful flower sack fabric. Okay, so that's just on here. And I decided not to cover it up because it's a sewing journal. This is all hand done, all hand stitched. So I was like, I'm just gonna leave it because somebody is gonna really appreciate that beautiful hand stitching. So here is my wallet. Um, for the letter W, it was a wallpaper wallet, and so it had a tag here on the front that holds it, and then you can put things inside of it, and we have, I chose to put the tag on the outside. We had some pattern, um, really fun scrapbook paper. And then this was from one of the cutoff pages that I had in my scraps. So that it was off of a scrapbook paper also. And then the tag, and it has the color swatch piece and the word stitch from a dictionary. And then a little um, just from the scraps that I had left when I uh, made the snippets, I went ahead and made little tiny pieces and that's what that is. And this just wraps around and look at this page. This was from an old um, sewing um, book magazine. And so I used that as the inside cover page. So the sewing journal has, uh, 140 pages and it is available in the Etsy shop. Here we added the fashionable dressmaker um, card with some tape measure ribbon and the little 
safety pin to hold it and it's a fabric flip we have this in the pocket it's a I had a calendar, a simplicity calendar, and so there you'll see the girls from that throughout. We have a little envelope here and a little sewing machine card with the pattern. Okay, so the ad for sewing machines. And that just goes back in there. And this um, is held by a paper button and some of the, the pattern there. This is a little flip. We've got real tape measure here with the zigzag stitching on it, which I thought was cool. And this is, you're going to see these all throughout and they are from wrapping paper. And some Rick Rack. I think Rick Rack is perfect in a sewing journal. Then this is my, what did I call that? It's like, I don't remember what, because you've got to come up with fun, um, fun things. And I'm not remembering what this was, but it was my, like a master board, quilted, quilted page. Okay. So quilted collage page, and there's a ribbon and it's got some fabric and a, safety pin holding it and it's on sherbert sunset so there we go i have some ledger with the little tab here this is a needle book and this is in the digital kit the antique sewing digital kit in the dear julie julie etsy shop you're going to see images from that and one day i made a bunch of these tags and I actually sewed the button onto some fabric, have a piece from the pattern book or from the pattern uh, directions, scissors from that bag and pattern and tape measure. And I made several of those to be able to go throughout. And then we have, this is also from the digital and on Tuesday they're doing the ironing. And this was from a magazine and you're going to see several images. And these are um, metal sculptures that this, this person makes. So beautiful. Some music and some more wrapping paper. I have two different wrapping papers. So I have this one that has the single like this. And then this one that's the full pattern pieces. So here's some uh, writing paper. We've got a paper ruffle with a strip. This is from the digital. It's one of the digital pages. And over here, this was from the calendar. And we have Rick Rack packaging that you can write on. And this, and this is came out of the um, etiquette, New American Etiquette book. Um, remember that I put together a, a an actual physical sewing kit and you got um, etiquette pages in it here we have a small page and it is an actual pattern okay and so this is the the pattern and then inside we have um, I think this is part of the master board and we turned it into a tag for in there and I did some stamping with my simplicity stamp um, this is from the digital made a large pocket and here is my oval large oval tag it has a tag inside of it there is a guest receipt and i believe there is a little bit of space inside there and let's go ahead and grab yeah sure Um, we have the little file folders that I made out of the paint chips. I punched them. Um, so after I filled the emeralds um, packages, I went ahead and I have some left. So that one can go right in there. So that was my oval tag. Oh, and it has a belly band on it and some rickrack and more of the flower sack 
pieces that were left over. I used every little piece of that. The rickrack hangs out with the button. This is from the digital. And here's another tag that I made. Wrapping paper, calendar, tape measure, stamp tag, safety pin, button. And it's inside a plastic bag. Okay. Here I added this stamp sewing machine onto the ledger paper. This was some really fun um, sewing paper that was in a sewing book. And I, excuse me, I added that to that kit. Um, so there's some more of the Simplicity ribbon and a scrap. Here we have a little charm and it's a bold pin with a couple of buttons on there. This is from the digital kit, but there's room for for di for digitaling. <laughs> there's room for journaling. You have a large tag here. You have a dress note paper here. This is um, a sewing machine advertisement, and I went ahead and sewed the button on. You've got a little fabric tab. And then down here, there is a flip up, and you can write in there. Here we have a sewing machine um, trading card, trading postcard, and this is the center of the signature, and there's a safety pin and buttons. This is an embossed envelope from Paper Terrace and the colors were perfect so I put it in here and it's being held in by a hidden paper clip and or just a paper clip. Yeah, just a paper clip that is a collaged paper clip. Okay, and it's on sewing instruction paper. So this page right here, this little page ensemble that inclu in is included because this is attached, um, is all on the paper instructions. So this is a piece from the digital, and we have some more of that magazine, and just put it onto a card, and there's a place that you can put something in there. And I attached this as a tip-in, and there is another um, image. This was from... Um, from a book. Okay, this is more uh, digital, so from the antique sewing, and you have a flip here, and inside we have another tag from the master board. It has a little flippy dippy here with um, tape measure. It's all being held on by a little safety pin. There's flower sack the little image of the sewing machine and more flower sack. This is from some tissues, so facial tissues. And then this is also, oh, this is a little tag in a pocket down here. And there's fabric even on here. So there's another pocket right there and a pocket there. That's pretty fun. It's being held in by a paper clip. And over here, we have a dress form, and it's holding this um, book page pocket. We have this fun little, oh, that's just a, <laughs> like, what is that? It is a, it's a hole, a punched hole. Sewing machine on calendar, and she is from an actual pattern. And then we have Happiness is Homemade, and we have a tag in the back of that. It has some of the napkins, some of the scrapbook paper I was using, and an image from the digital kit. So there's quite a variety of items used in here. So this die cut um, was Happy Mail. And I added it on the sewing paper. <coughs> this is from the digital. And it's on a um, Project Life card with some of the 
the image there. This came out of a magazine and I backed it with lined paper and added one of the pattern images. And somehow we ended up with two of these tags in here. I think we'll take this one out. So this one is again, real similar, all the same things, just um, different, <laughs> has thread on it. So that's probably different. Okay, ledger with the tab. And here is another book page pocket and you can put something in there. You can also um, journal on the back of it. Here's another piece of this pattern from that book and crossword and the little image from there. Here's another image from the metal um, sculpture. And then we have a postcard here that we decorated and another one of the tags, this time a sew machine with the button and the other. This is a Tim Holtz piece and it had some pattern paper images on it. So I was like, oh, I can put that in there. And the color was right too with that, that antique blue. So here we have a top tuck and the, this is, this is from the digital maiden's prayer. And you have this little place that you can put something in there. And this was the xylophone, um, snippet. So xylophone snippet. And I made that out of the fab, uh, flower sacks. You have a large pocket there. This is an image from the digital and here's the other side of the pattern and I have a double pocket on this with a tag that I made and another image from a Tim Holtz piece, a flinch card that has a pattern piece attached to it. There's a lot of things in here. Okay. Here we have a stamped note card with this from the simplicity. And then we have a large tag that is just um, some of this pattern paper that was from a book. And I thought you could still go ahead and write over that. And so that was fun. It just gave you another texture. And you know what? We'll go ahead and we can put that right put that in there also. Okay. So this one has an image from the digital along with some other, other things. Um, she is from an actual pattern. This is from a cut apart, uh, cardstock sheet. Here we have part of the little master board and it was a little scrap that was left. We've got map paper behind here and we have the 10 of hearts card from creative or uh, um, project life. Here we have a belly band with a pocket. And so we have a stamped tag and this little flinch card. And we have this tag with the, um, the pattern image. This is from the napkin. This is from the other napkin, and it is a pocket that can hold an index card. Um, this is one, this was my book page pocket. There's more of the flower sack curve. This is from the digital. These are the other sides of your lined paper, and you can make a list on that. Here's another tag from the um, Master board and it has the facial tissue and it has a little ruffly thing from the flower sack down here we have gosh it's tough to be a bachelor and he's sewing a patch and it's a flip up and a pocket here we have a large tag this is the other side of that needle book and I actually own that needle book it's so cool okay so master board, project life card, wrapping paper, little tag with a stamp, some fabric, and this is part of the facial tissue. So I think there was four dresses on that tissue. And 
this pocket here, little fabric tab, and more needle book with a um, tag inside. And second signature. We have a flippy dippy here. This time, this piece of ribbon was at the end and she lost her head. So I just put her on there <laughs> like that. Um, we have a tag made from one of the Tim Holtz cards from the calendar and from the digital from uh, the, pat, uh, the wrapping paper. We have a playing card in here with quilt. This was a bunch of buttons. It was really bright. I put a pattern piece over it. I'm wishing I'd have put something inside there that moved around, but I didn't. Double tuck here. So. Things to write on. Um, this is a from the digital. It's a flip. And there's one of the tissues. We've got a couple pages here. Another masterboard card or tag. More images from the digital. And here we have the, t the real tape measure with the stitching on it. And here you've got a couple of the dresses. And you have the really large paint chip tag. And it's backed. So then you've got the stamp tag and the uh, button with the messy thread. It's pattern and some of the measuring tape. I think the measuring tape just was such a cool addition in here. Here we've got... Um, That, oh, that must be a paper clip. Yeah, it's a paper clip. And it's holding a masterboard piece on the back, masterboard tag. And then on the front, it's holding a handmade notebook paper. So this has the guest check lace and the ribbon and the seam or the threader. It's missing its little uh, diamond part of the threader. <laughs> image from the digital flipped over and made a pocket to hold two stamped cards here we have another of the masterboard cards in the bag and the bags in here were from um, fabric stores so you got some fun shoes and a large tag this is from from the cover of an actual pattern and the thread and the a tab and it's on a postcard and that is a uh, measuring tape large pocket here's our other oval we have the calendar girl here she's just hanging out and then we have the tag and you have a place that you can put something back here and you can write all over. Lots of journaling on that one. Okay, you got a double flip here. More sewing paper, another masterboard tag. Uh, masterboard, and this time it was put on here on the flap. You've got a little flip there in the flap. You got a little tag here. And there's another one of those metal sculptures. And this is the center of the signature. And you've got a little tag here. Some of the pattern has been added there. This is some of the bag made into a pocket. This is a real pattern. You have some items added over here, a stamped note paper, this cute little tag that I made from the calendar and from um, a set of tags that I had in my stash. Lots of use of the wall, the 
little wrapping paper, some pattern on a heart, note paper there, and this is a paper clip holding that on. Another dress form, and it's holding that little tag and this little note. And you have a paper clip here, and it's a fabric paper clip, and it's holding these notes and this large note paper. In the pocket, you have another master board tag and a little stamp simplicity ta um, tag. It's sewing with the, um, well, there's a little charm on the flower sack fabric. A pocket, and here you have the needle book, and this time I made it into a little notebook. So you have a needle book notebook. You have a card from a pattern book, and I believe this is from one of the Christmas kits. And with that, the shopping with mom right there. You have a sewing machine stamp tattoo. This is where I stamp on parchment paper and then add it onto the coffee dyed paper. You have the definition of sew, some lace here. This is a tag made out of, oh, actually it's not a tag, it's the flip, that's right. And this was the sample of the stitches for my brother's sewing machine that came with it. And this um, is attached to a time card. We have a little pocket with a ticket or tag in the time card. And we have a double tuck on the other side. And that all fits in this large pocket. More of digital. This is digital. This is another one of the metal sculptures. And you have a full layered pocket here. This was an envelope pocket, I think. Got some of the little scissors, some of the flower sack, some of the wrapping paper. You have one of the wrapping paper attached up here. And you have a recipe card from Simplicity in here. And the bag is Northgate Fabrics. And you have her and she is a little tuck spot. And this can be a tuck spot and journaling space. She's from an actual pattern. She looks like my sister. <laughs> and there's that one. This is from the digital. The sewing is from the, the sewing machine is from the digital. Here we have a top tuck from the digital and a paint chip backed with a bridge score pad. So I took one of the dresses and added it to one of the short pages, added one of the ribbons to a short page, and added some fabric and a piece of the cardstock. Here we have a note paper that I made into an, it's a, it's a pocket, and it was too long, so I flipped it over and made it a top tuck. So you still get all the writing space. You've got that space. It's also a pocket with a master board tag in it. It's just very busy. Here's the other side of the button paper. Ledger. Digital. This is the Veil Fabric Flip. So there's um, paper ribbon on it, some of the tape measure, the blue silk seam binding, and the lace dryer sheet, and a fabric. And then this was the from the flower sack. So in the very back, 
you have your little notebook, a uh, matchbook notebook. It was made out of wallpaper. It's got several pages in it. And then this holds that down. We have the little envelope that has the silk um, ribbon embroidery. It was for ribbon embroidery, apparently. But it has that and a little um, piece that you can write on. Some of the wrapping paper. And you have a fabric ruffle, lace, and the measuring tape. I think that turned out really fun. And here's some more of the magazine that had all the sewing stuff in it and I added that to the like I said to the front and to the back cover okay so this goes ahead and closes and this was 140 pages 140 pages front and back large and small with the fluffy tassel and this is the antiques or the sewing journal the sewing journal it is available now in the dear julie julie etsy shop while it lasts 140 pages two signatures enjoy i'm excited for it to go to a new home so let's get back pick tomorrow's items and take a look at what we made so i did show you the the closure that i used on here so that's one of the things that we we kind of made but for today, we did make our hidden journaling cards. We made two of them. So there's one. And, wow, this one looks pretty hidden. I think this one, this one hid pretty well. Okay, so there's two. So two hidden cards, hidden journaling cards. And we used stenciling, paper flower, and we made our own tickets. So we made DIY tickets. And that was for our two hidden journaling cards. And now we're picking for tomorrow. So we'll go ahead and these go up in the bucket. Or not, it's not a bucket. It's a little drawer. I had an empty drawer up there. Okay. So closing my eyes and picking from the center-ish, just one, just one. Pull tab pocket with insert. Pull tab pocket with insert. And for that, we are going to use messy thread. stitching and a flower messy thread stitching and a flower pull, pull tab pocket with insert so that's what we'll have for you tomorrow and so i hope you'll come back and join us there you go find something to celebrate every day um oh I have a video of the four baby birds in the backyard. The mom and dad, you can't see them. They were behind the tree, but they were there too. And um, there you go. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. There's our little baby birds out there. There's four of them. The mom and dad were over, over there watching them. They were just, two of them were just up on the, the watering thing, getting a drink. Our four babies from the she shed. So cool. There might only be one in here. I don't see any eggs left. I only see one baby.